Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. Yeah, in my book, The Hidden Pattern, which reports my foundational thinking about the philosophy of mind, like what is a mind, how does the mind work, which was really the ultimate foundation for my work on artificial general intelligence and, and building thinking machines, which is mm -hmm. the, the primary thrust of my career as, as a scientist. But right. when thinking through just what is a mind, how, how does the mind work, I gravitated toward the perspective that you know you want to view the mind as consisting of experience at a fundamental level then as sort of reactions of one thing to another what the philosopher Charles Peirce called secondness then at patterns or relationships and mm -hmm. then you you look at there as being a, a pattern space a web and a network of patterns emerging from patterns and relating to other patterns and if you take this foundational perspective you can start to look at the, the four-dimensional space-time continuum, which we, in ordinary states of mind, feel ourselves to occupy as one very powerful conglomeration of patterns existing in a broader pattern space. Yeah. Then you can start to look at these various psychic phenomena, ESP, precognition, even perhaps survival after death, mm -hmm. reincarnation. Mm -hmm. You can look at these things as dynamics occurring in the broader containing pattern space, yes. which they involve causal chains that are not entirely contained within this four-dimensional space-time continuum. And mm -hmm. I think this is an intellectually rigorous way of thinking. It's not necessarily anti-empirical, although validating ideas in this regard may involve this sort of second-person science I was talking about, mm -hmm. but it goes beyond physics as we typically think about it now. But to me, that's a feature rather than a bug, to put it in, mm -hmm. in software terms. Quantum physics goes way beyond physics as people conceived it 300 years ago. Right. And in the same way, viewing our 4D space-time continuum as embedded in some mind-like broader pattern space, mm -hmm. this goes beyond current quantum physics and current science. But that doesn't mean it's just superstition or some religious thing that's handed down from on high. It may be an evolution of the notion of science itself. So science as a methodology and a paradigm may have to expand organically in order to come up with the right kind of theory of consciousness and of, of paranormal phenomena, but that doesn't mean it's unscientific any more than quantum mechanics is unscientific just because it breaks what Isaac Newton thought. Mm -hmm. Well, and as you pointed out earlier, all of our philosophical conceptions are going to be challenged as machine intelligence becomes more advanced. A absolutely. So regarding telepathic machines, which you mentioned at yeah. the beginning of our conversation, this is another fascinating empirical question to investigate.